<laughs> Awful laugh. Hey, Mr. Bill Birth Canal. Uh, yeah, they always they, they try to come up with clever ways to uh, oh. with my name. I see. Hey, Bill Gingerhead Man. Is that a gingerbread man? That's good. That's decent, right? Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. All right. I need the brilliant wisdom that only a middle-aged balding redhead could give. See that? <laughs> this is how they do it. They compliment and they slap me around a little bit. Uh, I'm dating a lady who couldn't win a Hooters model contest. Wow. She could win a Hooters model contest? Fly that girl to Paris and put her on the runway at Chanel. Sorry. Why do you guys hate... <laughs> why do you guys hate it when we say you're pretty? No, no, it's not that. It's just like that is supposed to be like this fucking ultimate compliment that she can win a modeling contest at Hooters. I'm... I'm any other woman who is, and this is nothing against Hooters, actually, because I don't like, alligator arm it. No, shit no, no, on no. Hooters. No, Go no, ahead. No. But I'm Say just saying, it. like, it's just funny to me what men or young guys consider a compliment. She could win a fucking Hooters modeling contest. <laughs> I'm sorry. If there's any girls that work at Hooters, I fucking love Hooters, and the girls are super sweet. You don't like Hooters, and you I don't do, think actually. it's suited. You're insulted by it. I'm not. It's, I'm, I'm, I think it's funny the way he described her as saying she could win a Hooters month. There's something really funny about that. All right, there is something funny about that. But I'll tell yeah, you this stuff. Come There's on, something give else. Me a break. You, you're thinking about. You got to go on the road with me, though, Nia. Okay. You got to go on the road. You got to understand. You know, when you live in the middle of fucking nowhere, you know, when you get big deals, you go down to the fucking Cracker Barrel. And you oh, and, and so you, you get down I'm, you get you get down to one little golf peg, you think and I'm that means a, you're a genius. That that's out uh, there, Nia, out there you in think the I'm sticks. Being, you think I'm being classist by laughing at that description because he can't just say, she, I, "This girl is really beautiful." Because he goes, "No, on to I'm say, actually she's being funny, a intelligent, level-headed, and has a smoking." That's those are wonderful things. But like the Hooters model contest, first of all, I didn't know that they had model contests. <laughs> Do you mean that she could get a job at Hooters? Because hey, can, can I get a word in here? <laughs> I was actually I was being a dick. Oh, I'm joking around. Oh. I love Cracker Barrel, and I love when I fucking get down to the one little golf spike. It makes me feel like I am intelligent. They got that little game. If you, can... I haven't been to Cracker Barrel <laughs> in a million. You million shouldn't, because they they said that racist shit a long time ago. Yeah, exactly. So. And I betray our relationship every time I go there and get their eggs. Um... <laughs> 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 All right, she's funny, intelligent level-headed, and has a smoking hot body and an epic chest. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, maybe that's where the Hooters part comes in. Yeah, she's got a great fucking wreck. And the Hooters model contest. All right, I'm sorry. What should he have said? Applebee's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Just like... like Spring chicken? An incredibly subpar fucking restaurant chain with the most basic requirements. Do you realize what a snob you sound rest? like to be sitting here in Paris I shitting on Hooters? Do. Fuck I you. Absolutely Fuck do. you. You but know what? No question for you today, mademoiselle. But absolutely. I love it. I love their popcorn shrimp. Yeah, you it's see that, really Nia? really good. Don't ever and forget lemon, that, Nia. Don't ever fucking wings. forget that. I don't ever forget that. I don't give that. a fuck where you're at I took my or what you're doing. At the end year. of the day, you like Hooters lemon popcorn shrimp. Not lemon popcorn shrimp. The lemon pepper wings and the buffalo popcorn shrimp. That shit is amazing. And they have really big drinks. It could be a little stronger, though, at least in the Hollywood one. But, uh, no, I, I, don't, I really don't have a problem. No, with I just those. saw the final 10 years of your life. <laughs> what? You're just an absolute lush sitting next to a pool. <laughs> Why isn't this fucking martini bigger? Eating fucking lemon chicken wings. Ugh, I would never have a martini at fucking Hooters. I mean, a margarita maybe. Ugh. Like, a, that's a kind of place you get a fireball shot. You know what, Nia? <laughs> you really sound gross right now. <laughs> All right, this is my fault. Anyway, let's go on. This is my fault. Both her looks and personality are... Shut up, I'm ten. reading this. Why would I complain, you ask? Well, because you're a guy, and so you have to complain about something. Because every wow, time that she sounds laughs, familiar. I feel like putting a bullet in my head. It sounds like a coyote in a trash compactor. <laughs> when we're at dinner, at Hooters, I assume, she laughs as loud and as awful as she can. I can see all the shot tables in my peripheral vision and hear the babies nearby I begin to violently weep. Okay, now you're being hyperbolic. Uh, when Whenever she laughs, I do my best to stare at her rack and appreciate her until the storm is over. This is actually kind of funny. This girl is practically wife material. With every laugh, I lose the will to live. I'm a 26-year-old male with options. 
<laughs> right. But really, oh, you yeah. know what? You're such an asshole. You just shit all over the guy. That's good. You balance it out. Nothing the guy said. The, that whole fucking hyperbole thing. If some woman wrote that, like a coyote and trash compactor, and like the baby's crying around there, you would have laughed. Oh my god, this girl's hilarious. But if a guy does it, they're they're a fucking asshole. Let me finish this out. I got you, buddy. Here we go. This girl <laughs> is practically wife of 26 year old male with options. He does have options. And with Facebook now, the world is his option. Oh, Grandpa. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Instagram? Yes. Is it a meme? Is that how you meet somebody now? <laughs> <laughs> Pussy meme. But realistically, I don't know if I have the potential to top this girl. Ah, uh, dude, you're selling yourself short. What do I do? Do I suck it up and look past it? Or do I put on uh, or do I put on the breakup suit and dump her moments before leaping out of the car? Your advice and possibly the lovely Nia's would be wonderful. She calls you the lovely Nia and you're shitting on him. I'm sure I speak for many when I say, uh, okay, sincerely possible suicide victim. All right, dude, you don't love this girl enough to look past her laugh because I really think if you really loved her, you, the fact that she had that crazy laugh, you, it, would, it would actually, in some weird way, you'd, you'd find it adorable. Uh, I think she's just yeah, hot. that's true. I think she's hot. I think you have a little bit of low self-esteem where you, you're looking at your age. Like, what What do you, what do you, what do you got, fucking eggs in you? You don't, all right? You're a guy. You're young forever. You know, your biological clock isn't ticking. Oh, you know? I just say this shit just to get you going, all right? <laughs> you're 26-year-old. Yeah, you got all the options in the world. She's fucking smoking hot, right? Bang her one more time and then fucking dump her. Right? I'm sorry, I'm fucking with you. Just just get out of it. Just get out of the relationship and uh and that's the thing though. But don't tell her why. Don't say because you fucking laugh. Because well, she can't do anything about her laugh, Nia. I know. I just feel bad. I actually feel bad for them both. Cause it's like I'm trying to I was just trying to put myself in the situation. Like I, you know, being crazy about you, and if you just had like the worst laugh, like yeah, if you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. like who, who, we don't, we know somebody that has a laugh like that, that's like kind of like <laughs> has like a honking in their laugh, and it's and it's funny, but I'm sure the first time the person he's with heard it, she was like, whoa, okay, but the thing is. A person who laughs like that, other you laugh at them for their laugh. They laugh even more. Everybody laughs at them, and it becomes like a like that girl with. If the you love laugh. them, if you love them, you're right. If you don't, like you're like, oh my god, I want to like, kill this person. Like, is it really that bad? Like, is it, I, I'm, I wish. Hey, I'm not going to say the, the name. I'm like. not going to say the name. Uh huh. But I used to have somebody. Uh, one of my agents. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, one of my agents that <laughs> I loved him to death, and I actually <laughs> loved his laugh, especially. That's great. Because you could hear it when he was in the crowd, and I knew that he thought the joke was funny. <laughs> and he'd seen a bunch of comedy, so to really get him to laugh was an I amazing really thing. I feel like I can hear it right now. Yeah, so I, would, I, would, I remember being on stage at Caroline's, <laughs> and I'm killing for a half an hour. And I, and I knew he was in the crowd, but I'm not thinking that. I'm just thinking of doing my shit. And about a half hour in, I tried this new bit, and I riffed this thing, and it fucking killed. And in the middle of it, I hear in the back of the club, I just hear, <laughs> Yep. The honk. Yeah, but I'm not even doing the, the thing. Honk. Yo, let me tell you about a story so true. We're showing me style and it's all so cool. It's about a garment torn and frayed. Getting his friends, the story conveyed. Walking down the streets with holes in my teeth. These rip things here, part of me you see. It ain't about the brand or the label it holds. It's about the journey, the stories it unfolds. In these ragged clothes, I find my voice. A testament to resilience. My choice from the streets to the stage. I rock my style in my tattered shirt. I walk that mile. Ripped and torn, but still I stand in my ragged attire. I command it's not just fabric, it's a statement. I preach in my threadbare garment, I find my reach. From the barrio to the bar, I make my mark. In my worn out jeans, I leave a spark. And they call it rags, but I call it art. And every stitch and tear, I play my part. It's the struggle of the streets, the hustle so real. In my tattered jacket, I seal the deal. A symbol of defiance against the status quo. My passion, the pants, I let it show. It's not about the riches or the wealth I lack. In my faded hoodie, I stay on track. It's the heart of the hustle, the grind each day. In my worn out kips, I find my way. Ripped and torn, but still I stand. In my ragged attire. Command. It's not just fabric, it's a statement I preach. In my threadbare garment, 
I find my reach. So here's to the ones with the clothes that tear in our patched up attire. We have so let the world see our garments worn. For in our rags, our stories are born. In the language of the streets, we speak. In our torn up clothes, we find our peak. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and he and he hated his laugh too. He hated his laugh, and he's just like, I know that's how I laugh, and blah 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 blah. But uh, fucking sweetheart of a guy. Yeah, but he's a great person. And We're talking about it like he's dead. It.